Um, I just want to say I have a really big penis. I can suck my... From this past week. Let's go back to the phones. Bob is in St. Louis, Missouri. Bob, you're on with Bruce Finley of the Denver Post. Yes, um, my name is Bob, but people call me Ash, and um, I'm from a town called uh, Pallet Town. And I would like to talk about the uh, an environmental problem that happened in, in my in my land, and uh, a simple problem, a simple solution that we use to curtail. Now, um, a man named Professor Oak, he talked to me, and he's a very smart man, and he said um, there was this creature that was blocking the road called us. All right, we'll go on to Dane in Cloverdale, Indiana. Dane. Toronto, Ontario, you're next up with the ambassador. Hello. Yes, good morning, Mr. Jawad. My question is, do you have a big penis? Man, I can't believe that guy got back on. Morocco. Long Island, New York is on our yes line. Hey, how you doing this morning? Fine, go ahead. Yeah, I'm all for democracy. You know, I think, like, you know, we got these celebrities running around like, you know, Sheryl Crow and Kim Bates and Jerry Zeus Sarandon, Rob Rosinski. They should all be bukkake, you know, sprayed down with my sperm. All the Los Angeles. Moving on to Baltimore. Democrat line. Hello. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Um, my question is, do you respect Howard Stern's penis? Again, a lot of crank calls today. Not sure why they're coming in. We'll try to crack down on them as best we can. Get to another name. Austin, you're on the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Next up is Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, on our line for Republicans. Good morning, and welcome to the Washington Journal. Hey, good morning. Uh, I just have two quick points here. Uh, one, I feel that there are equal rights when it comes to marriage because a gay man has the same right to marry a woman that a straight man has. And uh, two, personally, I do support gay marriage, but only when both chicks are hot. Thank you. Let's move on to uh, Hubberstown. Uh, because uh, its repercussions are playing out in a negative fashion right now. Moving on to Baltimore to our American Muslims line. Welcome. I hope this doesn't bother you, but I've been imagining what you look like naked. <laughs> I think we're going to move on right to uh, Philadelphia. Thank you. Paul, Houston, Texas, Republican. Hi, Paul. Let me shit in your mouth. Jeez Louise. Daryl is in. Our next call, Newark, New Jersey. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. I got myself into really bad debt. I was uh, paying one credit card off with another for over four years. Uh, I just went on and on. And, you know, I mean, I'm like really broke right now about to file bankruptcy. I, you know, I'm trying to get a penile implant. I need to enlarge my uh, package to pick up the chicks these days. You know, Oxford, North Carolina is up next. Good morning. Thank you. Pete is up next. Bay Village, Ohio, an independent there. Pete, what did you think of uh, how the Democrats are portraying themselves and their candidate? Yeah, well, I was listening to Bill Clinton tell his story tonight, and my mom came into my room to bring me a, a plate of chicken nuggets, and I literally screamed at her and hit the plate of chicken nuggets out of her hand. And she started right, yelling. Pete, we're gonna, Pete, Pete, we're gonna move on. Thanks. We're gonna move on to Jared from North Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, my, my son, Rod, I sent my son over to a Delphi college, uh, Robert A. Bluey, and uh, he is actually dating uh, an African American young lady, and uh, we appreciate the history of it and what. What my son is saying is that um, that is uh, pretty much the hottest and sweetest pussy he's ever. Apologies. Uh, Bruce stands in his rentals of the uh, pornos. Every Friday night he would go and rent pornos for the weekend for almost two years. The subject of every one of them was black males, long gone silver. He rented that three times before he finally bought it. He never read it about woman to woman. Morning, Jose. Good morning. My name is Jose. I am white. I am socialist. I don't like black, Jews, Marxists. I am racist. I have no religion. Adolf Hitler was absolutely correct. To well, Jose, what is that? Uh, apparently, Jose likes the freedom of speech. How many, how different this race is from previous races when you look at the amount of personality that you see in the Republican field? Herman Cain with his 999 plan. Rick Perry with his oops, Michelle Bachman with her very hairy vagina. Oh, excuse me, that was totally inappropriate, and uh, we're talking about the candidate. Nothing more than an empty suit. The other thing I'd like to say is that there's a rumor going around online, you're a fucking home. All right, apologize for that. Let's take our first call of the morning from California, Republican line. 
Joe Biden, should he run for president? Jed is on the line. Good morning. Yes, um, I feel as though Obama is not doing a good enough job, you know, that dirty socialist motherfucking piece of shit. Stephanie. Rick Santorum's Google problem. I'm not going to go into it because, obviously. But, you know, in, in Saturday Night Live, for example, Saturday Night Live had Mitt Rock, excuse me, had Rick Santorum in one of those uh, homosexual clubs. You know, like he was a guy who just loved to have a dildo looped up and shoved. Okay, we're going to stop you at that point, and we'll go next to this. Uh... I mean, mainly, I like, I, hey, I'm a small guy, so like, these are the health issues that are involved with that. Is cost a concern? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I have a small cock. I, I have a tiny penis. Waco, Texas, Jed, Democrat. Hi, Jed, you're on the air. Go ahead. Jed, are you with us? I like it. All right, let's move on to Darlene in Rochester, Michigan. I like to read the Atlanta Journal-Constitution online, and um, it was very good for me when the snowstorm hit because I could keep in touch with my family. And uh, the only thing is, it's, it's quite distracting sometimes. It's quite distracting because you got all the other tabs and various shit going on and zombie midget porn and all Joyce that. is up next. Hello? Hey, Wayne, you're on with Nancy Hook. Hello? Wayne, are you able to hear us? If not, we'll put you on hold. We'll come try to come back to you in just a minute. Shit. They lost me. Fuck. All right, next up is Chris in Memphis, Tennessee on our line for Denver. If the government would get out of the way, maybe we could get everybody working again. Or Republicans. Jed, good morning. Oh, um, hello. I feel Again. as though um, the uh, women should be uh, at home and uh, making sandwiches and pushing out babies and having their period. And All right. We'll try to have a constructive conversation. Let's go to... Thomas in Houston, Texas, Republican line. Thanks for holding. You're on with Michael Gordon of the New York Times. Penis, big penis, penis is everywhere. All right, we're going to move on to my That's Glenn called in from Salt Lake City, Utah. Glenn, good morning. Hi, good morning. My question is, since we're, we, we're spending all this money, where are we getting the money from? And my second question is, if I can shit in your mouth. I um, apologize for that, Congressman. Uh, don't take that kind of language here on the Washington Journal. Uh, we'll move on. I want to talk about a tweet that... All right, Terrence. Bob in D.C., a Republican. Bob, what did you think of last night's forum? I, um, I'm a big uh, supporter of Donald Trump because he's uh, outside of the uh, Washington bureaucrat bureaucracy. And... Um, I'm also a huge fan of the squirrel that died on his head. All right, we're going to go on, move on from there. Uh, I want to show you two of the candidates from last night's forum who are likely not to be, and then we'll go to that, Geo, or Jed, I think it is, in San Francisco. Republicans been hanging on the line. Go ahead with your question or comment. Yes, um, you all have been talking about climate change and all kinds of other stuff, but um, the most pressing question for me is, um, what about the squirrel that died on Donald Trump? All right, we'll go on to Art in Clearwater, Kansas. Republican. Art, do you have a question about human trafficking? I sure do. Okay. Uh